how is it going guys welcome back to the second part of the video in the previous video I have shown how to forward engineer your database using MySQL and MySQL workbench so in this video we'll be doing the opposite of the forward engineering which is reverse engineering now ER diagrams are useful tools for understanding modeling and design of databases we normally built a physical database from ER diagrams now in the previous video we have used the IMDB database to build sort of a uh, simple database uh, and then we did the forward engineering on this database and as you can see here we have defined some relationships on these uh, four tables uh, which is uh, many to many relationships now in this task uh, we are doing something known as reverse engineering now for reverse engineering it's the opposite process that means going from the SQL script to the ER diagram forward engineering was going from ER diagram which you can see here on the screen and uh, going to the SQL script that was the forward engineering so we'll see uh, using another database this time we'll be using the office database and then we will try to reverse engineer it and get the ERD diagram now just to give you the textbook definition before we get into reverse engineering since reverse engineering is converting live database schema into model we need to understand how these models in MySQL work. So uh, as you can see, the physical model or the physical schema is nothing but grouping of database objects like views, tables. As you can see here, if I go to my local instant and show you the IMDB database, here you can see the view, stored procedure, functions and the table names all we have created. So that is nothing but your physical schema. Now what reverse engineering does, is now it goes from the SQL script, that means the query you write here such as uh, create database uh, something like that and going from this script to the ERD diagram now ERD diagram can hold multiple ERD diagrams so diagrams can contain elements such as tables views and again schemas but are independent form of each diagram can contain elements from different schemas again you can join the tables and you can have multiple schemas in the script and then you reverse engineer to get it the ERD diagram so without wasting much time now we will start with the reverse engineering process so for this example uh, we will be using the office database I am going to show you how to create the database and then from there we will take it to the reverse engineering so again clicking the local instant and I don't have any office table right here let me hit the refresh yeah okay so the command to create a database is very easy it's uh, create database office and semicolon control enter and as you can see on the terminal database has been created now we don't need this command anymore I'm just gonna remove this we will start with our table so the command is create table employee open the brackets and then uh, close the brackets here give some space you can use the tab to sort of uh, show that this is a separate table because we'll be using four tables for this example and uh, what do you need here you need employee ID and this will be of int and I'm gonna give this employee ID as my primary key uh, like that then what do we need we need employee first name so F name that will be of where care I think 50 should be fine same way EMP last name so L name of the same where care 50 and uh, what we need we need the address so I'm gonna give address again as uh, where care give it 50 we need the pin code which will be of care 10 now let me give the status code I don't know something related to office so character 2 should be fine and at last let's give the employee description and this description of the uh, will be of the type text and uh, that's it I think we have closed it already let me just bring it back 
okay so there you go that's your first table now moving on to the next table uh, let's uh, just copy most of the values because we anyway we are going to repeat these values so I am going to use the same values again something like this now this time the table is uh, inventory and again employee ID is the primary key first name last name where care you have the time as the date time module employee code I mean status code is character and description is text now this time uh, just to show you in the ERD diagram how does the uh, tables are interrelated which is nothing but the foreign key and the basic definition of foreign key also states that the common columns how the tables are related so we will uh, create the relationship by using the foreign key so foreign key will be employee ID you can give anything here I'm taking employee ID and then you have to give the reference and uh, what you're gonna reference so this is the inventory table but I need to reference the foreign key from the other table so I'm gonna use the employee table here so references will be my employee employee table and in again employee table which column I'm gonna refer I have to mention inside the bracket so I'm gonna refer the employee ID again so inside the bracket I have to put employee ID that is how you give the uh, foreign key and then you have to close this by closing the round bracket and semicolon so no errors yes moving on to the next table and this time let's just use the team leader that will be a third table now this time create table team leader again same employee ID is your primary key uh, first name last name address uh, pin code and status code employee description and uh, for this I'm not creating any foreign key I'm gonna create a foreign key for the next table I'm gonna create uh, a backup team leader so create table and uh, this time let's name this as backup leader so the when the so when the main leader is absent these people will take the charge so again uh, we need the employee ID first name last name everything will be same so taking these from the previous tables employee ID first name last name address all remain same but here I want to give the foreign key just to create relationship between the backup leaders and the above table which is team leaders so foreign key and again foreign key will be employee ID which will take reference from the team leader as you can see this table right here team leaders so team leaders and inside team leaders the common column is again employee ID that is it ending it here and uh, let me just check this query again okay so guys uh, just to refresh this uh, we are creating four tables employee inventory team leaders and backup leaders so we have two foreign keys relating uh, two different tables and we have four primary keys for all four uh, tables which are uh, employee IDs and that is it so this is how I have created four tables and I have defined the relationship now before I create this I need to enter one more command which is use the database now if I refresh this here you can see we have a new database known as the office which we have created so I have to give the command use office just to use this database and you can click this button in um, in my skill workbench which will execute only this part so when I click this now I'm using the office database now once I hit this uh, lightning symbol it will execute from top to bottom all the SQL commands and uh, when I click this you can see there is no error and all the tables are created now when I click the refresh here and I go to tables as you can see we have four tables created very easy guys uh, I have just created four tables now it's time to reverse engineer this database to do that you have to go to database and you can see here reverse engineer in the last video we did forward engineer reverse engineering is just the opposite going from script to the ERD 
which is entity relationship diagram so i click uh, reverse engineer now you don't have to touch anything again standard tcp ip protocol port 80 is your windows uh, hosted instance and i click next execute it successfully now you have to choose the database schema so i am using the office i'll choose office again no errors finished as you can see here i want all the four objects i mean four tables execute and operation is completed successfully easy guys now you will be redirected to the ERD diagram let me just scroll down there you go since I have used two uh, foreign keys to relate uh, inventory and employee and team leaders and database so I am getting one relationship and same way here also but I have four tables right here and if I expand this you can see the columns which we have created reverse engineering on my SQL workbench very easy again uh, you don't have to do much it does uh, all the job for you you just have to create your uh, tables and just visit the database and it will do it for you so that was all for this video now and I'll catch you in the next one